So good afternoon everyone. I am Brennaline and you're watching Dot Genius. Have you ever wondered how communication was made easy? From writing letters to telephones, especially in the field of psychology, which is important to use for calling our clients and etc. Now let's trace back the history of telephones. Eighteen seventy six, night of March ten, liquid telephone was invented by Alexander Graham Bell when he spilled some sulfuric acid he had been using in his test, climax two years of extensive experimentation. Eighteen seventy six, Bell Centennial Model. My word, it talks! exclaimed Emperor Dom Pedro of Brazil. On June 25, 1876, when he listened to the receiver of this early telephone at the Philadelphia Centennial Exposition, one of the judges, Sir William Thompson, called Bell's invention the most wonderful thing in America. 1877, first commercial telephone. The camera-like opening served as both transmitter and receiver, making mouth-to-ear ships necessary. Developed by Bell in 1876, it went into service in 1877. 1878, Butter Stump It was made of wood and resembled a dairy butter stump, hence its name. It was in service when the world's first commercial switchboard opened in New Haven in 1878. The push button was used to signal the operator. 1878, Walset Switching the same instrument from mouth to ear proved confusing for some people, so a second wooden transmitter receiver was added. Either could be used for talking or listening. Turning the crank generated power to signal the operator. 1880, Blake. The Blake transmitter greatly improved the telephone service. Here, its walnut case has been mounted on an adjustable stand to make one of the earliest test sets. This instrument, invented in 1878 by Francis Blake Jr., employed carbon, a technique developed by Thomas Edison, and transmitted the voice with increased clarity. 1886 Long Distance Transmitter In the year that the Statue of Liberty was dedicated in New York Harbor, the search for improved long distance transmission took a major step forward with this model. Splatinum diaphragm improved clarity. The instrument shown was actually used by Bell. An early effort to make the telephone more decorative as well as more compact can be seen in this souvenir of the K-90s. The carbon transmitter is becoming less unwieldy. The receiver has been reduced in size so that it was called a watch case receiver and the ornate base reflects the taste of the era. In the early 90s, the telephone began to assume the shape in which it was to become familiar to Americans for the next three or four decades. This ancestor of the upright desk set was made in 1897 and represented a refinement of earlier similar models. It was made out of cast brass. The effort to make telephoning more convenient is perpetual. The early telephones were voice-powered. Then a wet battery was used which, though an improvement, sometimes resulted in acid on the carpet. Dry batteries came next. The fourth stage was a common battery, with a power supply at the exchange. This is a more modern version of the telephone with the built-in generator mechanism to provide current for signaling the operator. Almost exactly similar telephones were in general use. Note and closed receiver terminals, an improvement of 1907. This somewhat streamlined pedestal desk telephone first appeared in black finish in 1910 though its prototype dates back to the turn of the century. 
These telephones were made of cast brass and later steel and were the all-American standard for the next quarter century or so. Some still are in use. The wall telephone is becoming more compact. Instruments like these were in general service and were also forerunners of today's home interphone system. They provided intercommunication within the home. The first dial telephone exchange is credited to Almon B. Stroger, who introduced it in Laporte, Indiana in 1892. It was many years, however, before switching equipment was sufficiently developed to permit dial installation in larger cities. New York City, for instance, began to get the dial in 1922. America got a new look in telephones in 1927 and the combined receiver and transmitter idea, used since 1878 by telephone linemen, was sufficiently improved to be adapted for general service. It was popularly known as the French phone because it resembled continental instruments. The 1930 desk set. This telephone, like the 1928 set, came with or without dial and resembled its predecessor, except that, instead of a round base, it had an elliptical or oval base. 1937 300 type desk set, a major innovation that offered added convenience to telephone subscribers, placed the bell in the base, previously housed in a separate box. The 300 served throughout World War II, while the energies of most telephone people were devoted to defense work. 1938 Telephone Key Set It incorporated within the set one hold button and five others for calling, signaling, or access to other extensions. Early models had metal housings, but plastic was substituted in the early 40s. 1949 500 Type Desk Set First in the new 500 series, it is rugged and functional. It is standard with all the sets in this series is an adjustable volume control for the bell located in the base of the telephone. 1954 500 type color desk set. The telephone started to become a decorative household item and it gained widespread popularity. The five basic colors currently available are white, beige, green, pink, and blue. 1956 wall telephone. The telephone returns to the wall in this companion piece to the 500 desk set. The wall set is most often used in businesses and homes where counter and desk space is at a premium. It is popular in such home areas as basements and kitchens. 1958 Speakerphone Set Hands-free telephoning arrived with the introduction of the speakerphone, which also permits conference calls between groups at different locations. 1958 Call Director Telephone Used in a variety of business office applications, the Call Director set was designed to handle several incoming, outgoing, and inter-office calls at the same time. There are two main types, the 18 and 30 button models which can be used with handset, headset, or speaker phone. Princess Telephone. The desk set received a smart new look, compactness, attractive styling, and illuminated dial. It lights up when you lift the handset or you can keep it on as night light. Contribute to the all-around usefulness of the Princess set. It also comes with a touch tone dial. 1962 Panel Phone. Latest in the line of wall telephones, the panel phone mounts flash with the wall. A special feature is a retractable handset cord that winds up automatically within the set. 1964 Touch Tone Telephone As America neared the 200 million mark and population, the bell system heralded a new era in telephonic services with push-button calling. Combined with electronic central offices, Touch Tone service will expand the uses of the telephone manifold. 1968 Trimline Telephone The 12 button touchstone trimline set combines the handset and dial in one lightweight attractive unit. 
although only 10 buttons are needed for today's telephone need the two extra buttons prepare these sets for future communication services 1969 picture phone set men walk on the moon in a new model of telephone that make it possible to see the person to whom you're talking was market tested it has individual or group viewing major uses for visual conferencing between different cities 73 touch matic telephone the touch matic set is the first telephone with a solid state memory at the touch of a single button, it can automatically dial any of 31 pre-recorded numbers. 1976 Transaction Telephone As the telephone marks its 100th birthday, the bell system offers a phone to make shopping more convenient. It can also perform inventory control jobs. As 21st century opens, here are the modern telephones. These devices that convert sound and electrical waves into audible relays and is used for communication purposes. It has two essential parts, the microphone and the speaker. Of today, rotary phone, cordless phone, and business modern phones are the only available in the market. So there you are. So as you can see in the previous video, you can see how human minds are amazing in inventing telephones. From letters, telephones, and phones. So, cell phones is what we are using now in the present. Phones are alternative way to communicate instead of telephones because if you compare phones in telephones, phones are more way easier to communicate persons we wanted to communicate. So, letters, telephones, and phones, all of them are important in communicating. It depends on you and what you want to use, as long as you don't want to get disconnected. And that's all for today. I'm Renaline from Dot Genius. And always remember that past, present, and future are part of history.